It is concerning that it's increasing. Just the other day, I had a three-year-old that I had to prescribe glasses because he was already significantly nearsighted. The American Academy of Ophthalmology calls it an epidemic. The rise in the number of kids being diagnosed with nearsightedness, meaning they can see up close but not far away. Yeah, that's right. 90s reporter Brianna Clark joins us now live this morning. Brianna, the American Academy of Ophthalmology has been keeping an eye on the number of cases. That's right. And at this rate, they say by 2050, half our population will be nearsighted. It's not only a concern for doctors across the country, but also right here in Colorado. All right, so we all know our eyeballs are round. Folks who are nearsighted, though, their eyes start to do this. And if it goes untreated, this can cause some major problems in the future, including permanent loss of vision. So why are they seeing more kids being diagnosed as nearsighted? Well, doctors say there's a few factors. One of them is genetics. But there's also something else that could be playing a major role in this epidemic. One theory is that increased near activity. We are more digital than we used to be. So a lot of that might be increased iPhone time, increased iPad time, increased near work, and less outdoor play may be a component of why myopia is increasing. Jocelyn Singh with Mountain Eye Partners and Lone Tree says parents can help out at home by encouraging their kids to practice the 20-20-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for 20 seconds. When kids are already nearsighted at a young age, it's just going to keep increasing as they grow. So we really want to stabilize that during their growth phase because once you reach an adulthood, it's a lot harder to change. Yeah, and parents keep in mind, as kids grow, their vision changes. Dr. Singh says if they start squinting to see things far away or if they're holding objects close to their face, that's a telltale sign it is time to visit the eye doctor. Really young elementary school kids don't always verbalize that. One, they're not working in tiny print. Two, they have more of collaborative play and set up in their classroom, so they may not be far away from the board. She says older kids, like high schoolers, they're more likely to say something if they're having trouble seeing, but it also doesn't hurt to ask. All right, so if you're concerned about your child's vision, there's a quick test you can do at home. All you got to do is have them cover their eye, one of their eyes with the palm of their hand, look at an object across the room and have them describe it and then switch. And Corey and Jordan, it's important that these children use the palm of their hand because if they use their fingers, they might peek. Yeah, yeah, that's some really great advice. I'm seeing more and more kids, little kids with the glasses on. So this is really important. I know that we had to just sign off on our kids being tested at school as well. Yeah, absolutely. And of course, I have nearsightedness. I wasn't diagnosed until mm -hmm. a little bit later in life. But as a kid, that really impacts your learning. Yeah. So you want to make sure you're staying on top of that. Brianna, thank you very much. Let's